Council communism also councilism is a current of socialist thought that emerged in the 1920s. Inspired by the November Revolution, councilism was characterized by its opposition to state capitalism, state socialism and its advocacy of workers' councils and Soviet democracy as the basis for dismantling the class state. Strong in Germany and the Netherlands during the 1920s, council communism continues to exist today within the greater socialist and communist movements. Chief among the tenets of council communism is its opposition to the party vanguardism and democratic centralism of Leninist ideologies and its contention that democratic workers' councils arising in the factories and municipalities are the natural form of working class organization and authority. Council communism also stands in contrast to social democracy through its formal rejection of both reformism and parliamentarism i.e. the compromises and quids pro quo, such as logrolling, normally found in legislative politics. Topic. Ideas and theory Council communists maintain that the working class should not rely on Leninist vanguard parties or hope for reforms of the capitalist system to bring socialism. It is viewed that workers' revolution will not be led by a revolutionary Political party since these parties will only later create a party dictatorship, many point to the Bolshevik party in the October Revolution as an example, claiming that the party only became the capitalist class that replaced the old aristocratic feudal class. Revolutionary political parties will only agitate for revolution and workers' councils. These workers' councils which form during periods of struggle are believed to be the natural organizations of the working class. Democratic workers' councils will coordinate the functions of a society rather than a bureaucracy found in state socialist societies. Because of these beliefs council communists have been compared to anarchists and syndicalists. History As the second international decade at the beginning of World War I, socialists who opposed nationalism and supported proletarian internationalism regrouped. In Germany, two major communist trends emerged. First, the Spartacus League was created by the radical socialist Rosa Luxemburg. The second trend emerged among German rank and file trade unionists who opposed their unions and organized increasingly radical strikes towards the end of 1917 and the beginning of 1918. This second trend created the German left communist movement that would become the KAPD after the abortive German Revolution of 1918-19. As the communist international inspired by the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia formed, a left communist tendency developed in the Comintern's German, Dutch and Bulgarian sections. Key figures in this milieu were Anton Panikok, Otto Ruhl and Hermann Gorder. In the United Kingdom, Sylvia Pankhurst's group, the Communist Party British section of the Third International, also identified with the left communist tendency. Alongside these formal left communist tendencies, the Italian group led by Amadio Bordiga is often commonly recognized as a left communist party, although both Bordiga and the Italian communist left disputed this and qualified their politics as separate, distinct and more in line with the Third International's positions than the politics of left communism. Bordiga himself did not advocate abstention from the unions, although later Italian left currents developed a critique of the regime unions positing that most or all unions had become tools of capitalism by submitting themselves to bourgeois interests and were no longer viable organs of class struggle. Nevertheless, those «bordagists» who put forward this critique still held out the necessity of «red unions» or «class unions» re-emerging, outside and against the regime unions, which would openly advocate class struggle and allow the participation of communist militants. These various assorted groups were all criticized by Vladimir Lenin in his booklet, Left Wing, Communism, and Infantile Disorder. Despite a common general direction, and despite sharing the criticism of Lenin, there were few politics held in common between these movements. An example of this divergence is that the Italians supported the right of nations to self-determination, while the Dutch and Germans rejected this policy, seeing it as a form of bourgeois nationalism. However, all of the left communist tendencies opposed what they called frontism. Frontism was a tactic endorsed by Lenin, where communists sought tactical agreements with reformist social democratic parties in pursuit of a definite, usually defensive, goal. In addition to opposing frontism, 
The Dutch-German tendency, the Bulgarians and British also refused to participate in bourgeois elections, which they denounced as parliamentarism. In Germany, the left communists were expelled from the Communist Party of Germany, and they formed the Communist Workers' Party Similar parties were formed in the Netherlands, Bulgaria and Britain. The KAPD rapidly lost most of its members and it eventually dissolved. However, some of its militants had been instrumental in organizing factory-based unions like the AAUD and AAUDE, the latter being opposed to separate party organization see, syndicalism. The leading theoreticians of the KAPD had developed a new series of ideas based on their opposition to party organization, and their conception of the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia as having been a bourgeois revolution. Their leading figures were Anton Panikok, Hermann Gorder and Otto Ruhl. Ruhl later left the KAPD, and was one of the founders of the AAUDE. Another leading theoretician of council communism was Paul Matic, who later emigrated to the U.S. A minor figure in the Council Communist movement in the Netherlands was Marinus van der Lubbe, who was accused of the burning of the Reichstag in 1933 and consequently executed by the Nazis after a show trial that marked the beginning of the persecution of socialist and communists in Nazi Germany. The early Councilists are followed later by the group of internationalist communists, Henk Meyer, Caho Brendel and Paul Matic Sr. There was a resurgence of councilist groups and ideas in the 1960s, through the Situationist International, Root and Branch in the United States, Socialisme au Barbary in France, and Solidarity in the UK. Alongside and sometimes connected to the councilists were the early Western Marxists, Georg Lukacs a council communist himself from 1918 to 21 or 22 and Karl Korsch who turned to council communism in the 1930s. Topic. Soviets in the Russian Revolution During the Russian Revolution of 1917, councils akin to those advocated by council communists were a significant political and organizational force. The Russian word, Soviet, itself means council. After the success of the February Revolution, the Bolsheviks sought to capitalize on the influence of the Soviets in order to boost their own popularity. Bolshevik leaders advocated the transference of authority to the Soviets and the dissolution of Russian provisional government by means of a second revolution. When this campaign succeeded and the October Revolution occurred, the creation of the Congress of Soviets marked the beginning of a process of diminishing workers' control of the Soviets, and the decisions of the Bolshevik party acquired the full authority of the state. Thus, the new regime had developed into a one-party system. The Supreme Soviet, successor to the Congress of Soviets, had been relegated to the role of a rubber stamp parliament, meeting just once a year to ratify decisions already made at higher levels, in most cases with no dissenting votes. Real power was concentrated in the hands of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Topic: See also Anarchist communism Left communism Marxist humanism Libertarian socialism Frankfurt School Luxembourgism List of left communist internationals Social criticism Communist Workers' Party Austria. Notes References Anton Panikok Workers' Councils, AK Press, 2003 Topic. Further reading Anton Panikok Anton Panikok Archive Hermann Gorder, Sylvia Pankhurst, Otto Ruhl, Non-Leninist Marxism, Writings on the Workers' Councils, St. Petersburg, Florida, Red and Black Publishers, 2007. ISBN 978-0-9791813-6-8. Bach, Hans Manfred Syndicalismus und Linkskommunismus von 1918 bis 1923, ein Betrag zur Sozial und Eidengeschichte der Frühen Weimarer Republik. Meisenheim im Glan, Verlag Anton Hain. Bach, Hans Manfred Die Marx Dietz gen Santes Panikoks und Seins Krises. In Van der Linden, Marcel. Die Rezeption der Marxischen Theorie in den Niederlanden. Trier, Karl Marx House. 
Borinet, Philippe 2017. The Dutch and German Communist Left 1900-68, Neither Lenin nor Trotsky nor Stalin. Quote, comma, quote. All workers must think for themselves. Chicago, Haymarket. Brishner, Serge Panacoke and the Workers' Councils. St. Louis, Telos Press. Collective Action Notes A Collection of Council Communist and Other Anti-Authoritarian Marxist Literature Communism or Reforms Two articles by Sylvia Pankhurst and Anton Panikoke, first published in The Workers' Dreadnought in 1922. First published as a pamphlet in 1974 by Workers' Voice, a communist group based in Liverpool. Karasje The Council Communist Archive Lenny Flank, Philosophy of Revolution, Towards a Non-Leninist Marxism. St. Petersburg, Florida, Red and Black Publishers, 2007. ISBN 978-0-9791813-8-2. Gerber, John From Left Radicalism to Council Communism, Anton Panikoke and German Revolutionary Marxism. Journal of Contemporary History. 23 169–189. Gerber, John Anton Panikoke and the Socialism of Workers' Self-Emancipation, 1873–1960. Dordrecht, Kluwer. Harmson, G. E. R. Le Marxisme et la Revue de Neu Tijd. Sepentrion. 15 57–62. Harmson, G. E. R. Le communisme des conseils ouvriers de Panacoke et Gorder. Sepentrion. 19 47–51. Hermann, Friedrich Georg Auto rule als politischer Theoretiker. Internationale wissenschaftliche Korrespondenz zur Geschichte der Arbeiterbewegung, 1716–60. Hermann, Friedrich Georg Auto rule als politischer Theoretiker. Internationale wissenschaftliche Korrespondenz zur Geschichte der Arbeiterbewegung, 1823–50. Kalschoven, Frank The Development Marxist Value Theory in the Netherlands, 1900–1940. In Van der Linden, Marcel. Die Reception der Marxischen Theorie in den Niederlanden. Trier, Karl Marx Haus. pp. 315–363. Paul Matic, Paul Matic Archive Memos, Christos, 2012. Anarchism and Council Communism, on the Russian Revolution. Anarchist Studies. 22, 22-47. Mergner, Gottfried, 1982. Schmeitzner, Mike, ed. Die Gruppe Internationaler Kommunis in Hollands. Rheinbeck BEI Hamburg, Rowold. pp. 7-15. Mergner, Gottfried, 1973. Arbeiterbewegung und Intelligenz. Starnberg, Wraith. Mergner, Hans Gottfried. 1992. Der Politiker als Dichter, Hermann Gorder. Die Marxismus Rezeption in der Dichtung Hermann Gorders. In Van der Linden, Marcel. Die Rezeption der Marxischen Theorie in den Niederlanden. Trier, Karl Marx House. pp. 124-149. Maureen, Juke. Marx and the Netherlands, the Dutch Marxist School. In Galanda, Bridget. Marxismus und Geschichtswissenschaft, Linz, 6. Bis 9. Janner 1983. Vienna, Europaverlag. pp. 414-421. Pinta, Saku 2012. Council Communist Perspectives on the Spanish Civil War and Revolution, 1936-1939. In Pritchard, Alex, Kinna, Ruth, Pinta, Saku, Barry, David. Libertarian Socialism, Politics in Black and Red. Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan. Ratchliff, Peter. 1979. Marxism and Council Communism, The Foundation for Revolutionary Theory for Modern Society. New York, Revisionist Press. Roth, Gary. 2015. Marxism in a Lost Century, A Biography of Paul Matic. Leiden, Brill. Schmeitzner, Mike. 2007. Bronner und Roterfaschismus? Otto Rules Ratekommunistische Totalitarismus Theorie. In Schmeitzner, Mike. Totalitarismus Kritik von Links, Deutsche Diskursheim 20. Jarundert. Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht. pp. 205-227. Harry Cleaver Reading Capital Politically Shipway, Mark 1988. 
Anti-Parliamentary Communism, The Movement for Workers' Councils in Britain, 1917–45. Basingstoke, Macmillan. Shipway, Mark Anti-Parliamentary Communism, The Movement for Workers' Councils in Britain, 1917–45. Basingstoke, Macmillan. Siegfried, Detlef Das radikale Milieu, Kieler November Revolution, Sozialwissenschaft und Linksradikalismus 1917–1922. Wiesaden, Springer Fischmedian, Van der Linden, Marcel 2004. On Council Communism. Historical Materialism. 12 4, 27-50, Van der Linden, Marcel 2007. Western Marxism and the Soviet Union, a survey of critical theories and debates since 1917. Leiden, Brill. Wright, Stephen 1980. Left Communism in Australia, J.A. Dawson and the Southern Advocate for Workers' Councils. Thesis 11, 1, 1, 43-77.